Welcome to Bullshiggity episode 3 brought to you by Yakido, the crayon eating titan that only knows how to shoulder charge. Uh, we're here with Scott Evil and Lord of the Tides today. How are you boys doing? Doing good days. Hell yeah. yeah so these are my PvP fire team, uh, as people uh, that are long-time viewers of mine. You guys will know these two names. But, uh, so what What do you boys want to talk about? We got we got a lot of bullshit to cover. Well, Tide, I know you wanted to talk about something. What did, what did you want to mention? Oh, I've got loads to talk about, to be fair. Um, but let's we'll start off. How are you guys finding PvP at the moment, in general? I'm Laggy really as fuck. It. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. definite server lag or something, man. There's uh it's been quite crazy lately. I have never been wall banged so many times in my life. And I thought last season was bad, but this season's worse. Um Stasis, Stasis any ain't, ain't a problem to me. Um yeah, no, it sucks stasis ass, but it's pretty balanced. I know there's a lot of people that'll complain about it, but those are the trash can players that really just don't know how to One properly. Time time, it'll be a time. Right, yeah, true, true. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I feel like the people that complain over excessively about stasis probably have no strategy in their play style whatsoever, so um, stasis yeah. ain't too bad. Yeah, stasis doesn't bother me anymore either. I don't know if it's because I've been running stasis a little bit more now uh, than it was. I think it's easier to deal with if you are running stasis versus running, you know, one of the older, uh, the light subclasses. Uh, but at the same time, I don't feel like it's out of balance. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I generally thought it was going to be a gimmick to start off with. Like, obviously everyone's going to work out the kinks eventually. I thought it will burn out, but I think with the recent up, well, I say the recent one, the one that happened on the hot fix two weeks ago, they generally did a good job in balancing it a lot better in PvP. Mm -hmm. It was hardcore on the first week. Yeah, with the warlocks being that. the way they were. Yeah, I, to be fair, and I, I, I will much. be enough was too say, much. Yeah, I, I, I do. I, I think they hit the hit the warlocks a little bit harder than than they should have. I yeah, mean, I would say to nerf a lot of different things all at one time was a wrong decision because i mean they nerfed you know the super mm -hmm. and the melee you know in the freeze times all at the same time you know so yeah but even that was an ability things. across sorry yeah well yeah i mean but like even if they you know they they should have known coming in if it was that out of balance why'd they even launch it like that uh, That's because well, I, PvP is not their main subject. Exactly. It's about their PvE side. They, the PvP Bungie doesn't give a laps. flying fuck about PvP until the bitch babies start whining about it. There is, PvP is a second priority to them. It was never intended to be a PvP game. It was a PvE MMO. Well, uh, Bungie, I hate to break it to you, but the majority of your players are PvP players, at least in my eyes. Uh, yeah, know. it's easy to find a I think the more dedicated players. players are PvP players, for sure. Yeah. 100%. Like, those trial carries guys, like, those guys are making bank, and right now they're going bankrupt. Um, because trials is not the game, thanks to Bungie and their titans. Um, uh, Bungie, word of advice, if you ever end up listening to this one day, I would like you to delete the titans code as well as the Felwinter's Lie code. Give us a whole new class, don't make them a tank, and we'll be okay. Uh, the state of the game will be in a whole better place. You might have, like, half the player base pissed off, but, uh, Let's, uh, let's learn from our mistakes of working like Activision. Um, we see how Call of Duty's going right now, you know, with Cold War having skill-based matchmaking and everybody fucking hating it. Um, to be know. fair, I kind of that they should bring back skill-based. In Destiny? Especially, Fuck yeah. Yeah, especially in comp. Yeah, um, It in should comp. definitely have skill-based in comp. And then things like your, where well, you get your weekly class match matches, your control matches, mm -hmm. that. Fair enough. That should just be all skill based. That's fine. Everyone go. But comp definitely should be, um, especially because you've obviously got you've got people buying their way through it uh, right. with teams which have like got like stupid KDs. It it's horrific for like generalized players. I'm, I I am a PV PvP player, but at the end of the day, 
it's like I'm not on here 24/7. I I work. I'm an average adult living an average life, and I'm an average PvP player in my mm-hmm. opinion. And it's horrendous to come in and just get s- slaughtered um, by like a team. Yeah, that I mean like uh, the flip side of that. KD. Yeah, well, like even for us who, who regularly play together, I mean, I'd say you know we're pretty consistent as a team. But you know, for us to go from you know four and up in somebody to oh and four the next round you know something's out of balance i mean we didn't just lose our skill from one round to the next yeah it's just the matchmaking so out of whack that it, it's just a grab bag of what you're going to get round to round you play a control match now and it it bloody ends before like three minutes is up because the other team's being slaughtered you've got a clan a pvp like clan that you're going against and then you're like Mm -hmm. you're on your own and no one's running objectives on your team and the next thing you know they're like 75 points ahead against your 25 and the game's ended but it has been more of a common occurrence that's happening Um, a lot of players tend to be leaving as well Uh, throwing lives and survival we've all become witness to that this this season yeah i've seen it a couple times this season problem the fact that yeah that was something that never happened glitched It's making it even harder when you draw a round and the next thing you know, they give the round to the opposite team and it's like, well, you've just said it's a tie. Like, how does that work? Yeah, they need to work with respawns, you know. I mean, we had a match just last week Mm -hmm. where all three of us respawned. We had, what, three lives left. We respawned, but the tiebreaker was up and it gave the the round to the other team without them capping. But they yeah. said they patched it in their new one, but like, it's happened again like today. So I, they should have never like touched survival because ever it's, since they changed the lives, dude, it's been broken as fuck. Yeah. Did it's, anybody even see anything in the patch notes about the change in survival? I fuck didn't. no, dude. I it was a surprise attack, dude. It was just straight up. Oh, hey, by the way, they have six lives. Rounds are still two minutes. Um have fun oh by the way draws are not draws we're gonna give them to the team that is losing um but yeah no, it is a draw the thing is it's just bugged that's yeah. the problem with it it's and bugged and... you get this so are shax's together, voice really. lines shax's voice lines are also bugged because you'll have like fucking okay so when you get down to two lives he'll say last life because he's used to you having four right. lives or you've yep. used them all up and you're like right. oh, that one yeah, we'll say no lives left when we clearly got a respawn. Right. And that's it, yeah. and it confuses me too. I'll be like mid game, all of a sudden they'll say last life, and I'm like, oh shit, I need to back up or, or out, out of lives, and I'll look up at it. I'm like, dude, we still got two. Like, what? Um, and half the time that'll stop me from being as aggressive as I needed to be. Because, like, you know me, I'm aggressive, especially if we what have the annoying. upper hand. As well as like the Bungie Help Twitter page at the moment is literally due to a recently discovered issue, due to a recently discovered issue, due to a recently yeah. discovered issue, and it's always PvP based. These um, are not recently discovered issues. These are all issues that they knew were in the game, but had a deadline to push. If they, they just would... recently wanted to deal with it. Right. That's all. It, it was recently discovered by a player, so now we gotta you know take attention to this. Um, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's but, like. I understand. No, I no, I get it. You know, I understand. There's a ton of bugs in the game, and they're all working from home. They're trying their best. At least I hope they are. Now, I don't know. I don't work for Bungie. I don't know if I would ever want to work for Bungie. Um, but I understand. There's the, you know they're all working from home. Times are hard. But right now, dude, yeah. they need to focus on fixing their game. Don't worry about new content. Give us Hawk Moon first of all before you fucking worry about new content. Give us what you promised us uh, on week one. Um, give us Hawkmoon and then fucking fix the bugs. Yeah, like, why'd you take Prophecy out of the game? What did Prophecy need changed? The only thing you needed to do was change the light level on it. Prophecy was perfectly fine. Yeah, all, the, apparently the all thing that... as well is that it, they've released PvP now to me, and I say this all the time. It feels like it's in beta. That's all. It's, yeah. They've basically they've broken something that didn't need fixing in the first place. Survivor last year was tough. We're not get well last season. Sorry, was tough, but it was playable and it was enjoyable. And I'd throw my controller across the room every now and again. But apart from that, it is what it is. Um, there is nowhere near as many bugs as there are. 
I know oh, again. Yes. Down, that's dude. that's what's frustrating for me there. is the fact that I, I feel like the deaths and the losses that we're suffering right now are maybe fifty percent bug related. You know, whether oh, yeah. it be lag or you know, like ghost bullets not connecting. You know, last word, which has been a thing for years, mm-hmm. and they that, still I haven't been able that. to hunt a slam and take out your health like in the last game. That should not yeah. <laughs> You fucking damn near killed Scott with the Hunter Slam, which it doesn't do damage to begin with. So that's why I was like, "What?" Yeah, um, exactly. Not. It's just like, what what is going on? That's all I have to say. Well, about that. here's yeah. another thing I want to bring up too is that yeah, trials has been delayed, and this last time it's because there was there's an exploit with the Titans that we know about, and as far as I know, still hasn't been totally dealt. with. Uh, yeah, as far as I know, I haven't of, seen it fixed yet. Instead of nerfing Titans, they're just going to delay trials. That, to me, seems like how they're so more, you know, uh, focused on making keeping Titans happy rather than the game as a whole. Because had that well, been a Warlock issue... You, you, you can't ban an been... entire race. <laughs> well, no, no, but what you like, can you know, do... What disabled you... that item that was causing... Exactly you know, what they the did issue. with Wither Horde. It was the, it right. was the super, wasn't it? It's yeah, the yeah. Super. Disable yeah, but, it. So, yeah, they I disabled mean, Wither Horde. Every fucking player in the game could not use Wither Horde for like a week. Right. Then why not just Wait, do it mean, with Stasis? Bring trials yeah, back, fucking they did, in Stasis. Did have a, what is it? What's the chess piece called? Ah, uh, I think I've written down. Yeah. Uh, you talking about where they were able radius. to one tap bosses? No, due to a recent discovery issued, we have to disable the Vesper of Radius, the exotic war. Yeah, you know why? Let me tell you because why. Because they could... <laughs> because because could the Vesper of Radius put out a damage, like you're, when you threw your rift down, it put out like a, a, a damage pull, right? Yeah. Well, Good also, point. we get a we get a uh, an augment that allows our uh, rift to freeze nearby enemies. So when you throw your rift with that Vesper, it froze and Killed people. Damaged, yeah. One bad. Yeah, but it's not instant. <laughs> I mean, it takes a good second and a half to throw a rift down, but because it's a warlock, oh, we can't have that in. So they, you know, they had to correct that shit right away. Unlike, you know, the Titan who's keeping everybody from fucking playing Trials for a month. Thanks, you know, Jerrion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jerrion. Get God going. damn it. it is, this is your fault. <laughs> um yeah yeah but anyway moving on from like a pvp kind of um how are you guys find in the raid as well like i know we've been doing it as well to be honest yeah, it's I easy it's brilliant i think it's a good I raid it. i yeah. think it's a brilliant raid because obviously they've got new members coming in fantastic mm-hmm. i think obviously we've got a bigger player base so hopefully it brings more revenue to the game so they can focus more on it um Right. So putting out an easier raid, I do think like it's an introduction to all these new players. This is what a raid is like. Get this yeah. one down, it's going to get tougher. And I think they've played this raid really. I That's true. Yeah, I, I, I didn't nice think about season. it like that. Yeah, that is a good point. Because, I mean, it is it is easy now that we know it. You know, I mean, there's a lot of yeah. mechanics to it. Probably more mechanics than just about any other raid, you know, like per encounter. But you're right. If you can learn this one, then you know mechanics from the other one should come. That's with probably them. why they left Last Wish in. To be honest, well, Last Wish has something to do with some future content as well. That's why they fucking you know vaulted uh, Scourge of the Past, but not Last Wish. Uh, they did that on purpose. But um, Last Wish is a heavily mechanic based uh, raid. If you do it from you know, fold to start without, you know, using the wall to get to, to the end boss. Um, it's a tough raid. Like it had, I think it had the least amount of clears of any raid known to man. Like, I think there was only two yeah, clears. Yeah, I think it's notoriously hard. Yeah. yeah. So it's I think. A, it's, a, it's a dungeon though, isn't it? It's only a three man team. What? Last Wish? Nah. That's a six man raid. Uh, sorry, I am thinking of the wrong thing. Oh. I'm thinking of Shattered Throne. Oh, Shattered, Shattered Throne. Throne. Shattered Throne's <laughs> easy. Uh, well, kind of, yeah. but yeah, it's easy. Um, but no, fucking Last Wish, there's a ton of encounters. 
there's a ton of mechanics and it's all timing everybody's doing something um yeah and same thing with the new raid uh once you get to tanix phase one everybody's doing something I think that's what I like case. about it is it does involve everybody. You know, you All don't right. just have a couple people that know how to do everything. Everybody else is just along for the ride. I mean, you actually have to learn the encounters. That's why I liked Taking King because in Taking King, everybody had a job. Fucking, uh, well, for the most part. The runner. Yeah. Standing on the, uh, yeah, the runner, the standing on the uh, platforms, killing the yogas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everyone did. Fucking... Which is what a raid should be. I mean, you know, if you don't need everybody, then you don't. It shouldn't be a raid. Facts. Even though I did see three people run Deep Stone Crypt. Have you guys seen that? I saw the three man video. Yeah, the three man. Yeah. There's somebody who's attempting to two man it right now. I have seen someone glitch through like a wall really, really easy. Well, I say glitch. He walked through a wall and walked all the way to the end. There's a bunch of that. <laughs> but you fingers know, crossed that gets patched soon because that's still there because I tried it out the other day. <laughs> Wait, there's uh, a glitch you can do to get all the way to the end? Yeah, there's a wall that you can slip through, yeah. We'll talk about an easy, flawless. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, shit, I would love to go flawless. I've never actually gone flawless. No, that's not true. I did go flawless in taking King's Raid, uh, King's Fall Raid. Um Fuck, I don't remember what the hell that raid was called. I think it was a King's Hall raid. Was it? Well, King's Fall was the... Well, I guess, yeah, it was called King's Fall. Yeah, it was called King's Fall. Yeah, King's Fall was... Uh, the first raid I ever was able to flawless. It was cool. It was a very good raid. Oh, hands yeah, down. Um, it would never I be. think it's most people's favorite um, bottle of glass. Yeah. Well, it's the Bought most. Glass is small. The reason why I think people liked uh, Taking King so much was the simple fact that we went in knowing who the enemy was. We didn't have to learn anything yeah. new about him. We already, you know, like, okay, he's a new character, but he's Crota's dad, so we have reason to go and fucking slaughter this guy he wants to wipe everybody out it was dark i mean this guy was taking over fucking enemies he was fucking turning well, he wasn't even bothering an army. Him over was he it was huh? only until he killed his son and it was a bit like oh maybe i should step he yeah he's even gonna like come yeah. over. he abandoned his son anyway didn't he like he was like no crota you you're alive. bye yeah crota was and the outcast we kill him and he's like oh man that Never had to him and tell him to fuck off. I don't probably should well, go that's because we cut off his food source. His fucking... We cut off the source because Crota... If you know the way the hive uh, reacts. So, like, you know, the Thrall feed the Acolytes. The Acolytes yeah. feed the, the Knights. The Knights and the Wizards feed the, the greater champions like Crota. And then Crota feeds Oryx. Uh, so when we cut off that supply chain after we killed Oryx, or fucking Crota, that's when Oryx got all pissed off. Is like, oh, fuck. There goes my biggest source of freaking income right there. I'm about to go wipe out these guys. I'm hungry. Right. I'm going to go get some. <laughs> I will uh, say, if I, if, if I do have one gripe about the, the, the new raid, it will be, like, the story. Because I, I don't, I'm not much on, I don't, the story was kind of a stretch. And I didn't like Tanix. As far as pulling him back in, and that shocked me. I was like, "Whoa, yeah, I mean, why is Tanix here?" It was, but it was just kind of left field. You know what I mean? It's like they just kind of threw him in there. They're like, "Oh, let's throw a, an enemy that they already know in there, and let's just change it up a little bit." I was but hoping the comment because in the campaign, he, they do say the mention, "Oh, go get the body," don't they? And you're like thinking, "Oh, did they find Clovis's body? Or oh, whose body have they found?" That's true. They yeah. did talk about that, and I yeah. immediately thought Clovis as well, um, because they were kind of distracting you with the whole Anna Bray and Bray Tech shit. And, and that's then true. Boom, it with Tanix. So they did mention it in the campaign, but no, they didn't like obviously hint that it was I just, Tanix. I didn't see Tanix as like a super villain, though. I mean, did you guys? 
Uh, he's meant to be the Kell of Kells. I yeah. think that's why they brought him back. He's so. meant to be more powerful than Skolas. I mean, he's meant to be the Kell of Kells. He was the leader of... He was basically Aramis before Aramis was Aramis. You know, he was yeah. trying to do what Aramis was doing. Well, not necessarily with the darkness, but he was trying to do what Aramis's goal was to unite the Elixir and just become one massive fucking army. Um, so, I mean, I'm... I'm... Like, in this story in the past, Tanix and the Aramis and when they all were working together, basically they floored, like, the first... Like, I don't know if it's the first wall, but there was a huge wall when they broke through it, and it was, I think it was Lord Saladin who defended it all. Yeah, that was back um, during own, the, uh, the Dark Age or... Yeah. The yeah. Dark Age times, yeah, they so talk about the I fall. Think and... why they brought Tanix back, but because obviously she still has that sort of meaning towards it. But if you don't follow the law, it's it is far it is far fetched, but it isn't far fetched. Yeah, Tanix and Aramis are like best friends, lovers probably. Fuck, who knows? Um, right. I don't think we've seen the, the end of video. Aramis. Yeah, nah, because she's just frozen up there, isn't she? Right, right. she's Sick. just frozen in darkness, pointing at the pyramid. Like, yeah, yeah. Bring, bring me back. It, she, the right. pyramid of like, all right, I'm freezing. <laughs> I could see it because technically she didn't. I mean, she didn't die. We didn't physically kill her. She just straight up like it was like a uh, gall, like when fucking yeah. gall got consumed by the light. It was exactly like that. It just fucked him up. And I feel like that's the exact same thing that ha- happened to Aramis, but with the darkness. Um, gall didn't come back. Dude. Yeah, Gaul, Gaul literally blew the fuck up. Like he, <laughs> he nuked himself. Um, Gaul was a terrible enemy, Bungie. I mean, I get the whole point of it. If we would have never... Okay, if we would have never invaded Mars, then Destiny 2 would have never happened. If we would have never went to the Black Garden, nothing in Destiny 2 would have happened. Um, because, you know, we invaded this fucking cabal planet they were just minding their fucking business and then here we come in and slaughtered his fucking army but it wasn't though because it was our planet originally they've come into our solar system so yeah, we, I, yeah they but they were we just vibing to go take him. you know they were chilling they were just fucking minding their own fucking space turtle business and then we had to come and fuck it all up like we always do and now we're not in control of any planet fuck not no. even Earth. i mean you know we got no. the last city that's it. That's the only thing we've ever been in control of is the last scene. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it seems like we ought to be able to take back some of these. Maybe know, there'll be like a territory war game eventually at some point. I'm down for that. But I don't understand. 50, a 50-man team running across the, off the coast with drone. <laughs> right. What I don't understand about the lore and the story right now is, yeah, okay, we went and got the darkness, blah, 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 but why the fuck are we on Europa? All right. Why is this so important? We literally last um, season were worried Clovis. about darkness ships. Yeah, I understand Clovis. But why Clovis now when we literally last season were worried We've about these darkness already. ships? Right. Yeah. We were fighting these darkness ships, trying to fucking stop an invasion. They invaded the, all the other planets, fucking consumed them. Now they're on Earth. Why are we worried about Europa and Clovis when we have the darkness ships on Earth? The last to find technology to be able to get rid of. Fuck, them. dude! We all That's know awesome. Rasputin's gonna come into play eventually. Yeah, I and Rasputin so. last time froze everything. That's why I think Europa is frozen because he was on Europa and he froze everything because it was out of control because he couldn't fight it. So What's the same thing with Mars? And everything. He froze it might Mars. Have been Mars then. Yeah, yeah. Not, Mars then he must have froze. He, he froze fight Mars. The so he froze everything. Yeah, he couldn't fight it, so he froze everything, and then it thawed out, and that's when Zol got out, because that's what was yeah. the cutscene for, or like yeah, the no, opening right. for Warmind. Uh, yeah, he, he froze Mars. It, so... And that is what? But hey, you so... never know, like, maybe Clovis <laughs> did the same shit on Europa. Yeah, and that's why it's frozen. And maybe this time around, Earth is going to get frozen because the rest is like, nah, I tried the last time, didn't work, so I'm just going to another. Them. There's another I'm collapse coming, another man. 500 years. There's another collapse really, coming, we'll see. I really do think that, uh, I mean, I hope it plays out like this where we break into factions, you know, you got the Vanguard and then you'll have, you know, Darkness and whoever 
is going to head up that. And I think we're going to have to probably choose a side or choose who we want to help the most. Yeah, um, they hinted I'm, at that I'm, with the whole drifter thing. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it'll be really interesting to see how that plays out. Maybe it won't be like a hard choice where you can't, you know, go back and change your mind. But I, I think you might end up working for one side or the other to, you know, gain reputation and yeah. you know, different words and, and things. I, I, I think hope, that'll be interesting. I hope I didn't make the wrong choice when I chose the Vanguard over the Drifter. Because, See, I did too. And because I'm like, okay, I've been with the Vanguard for six years. Why would I change? I think this is where they'll push you to make more than one Guardian. Though. You can have one Guardian that's dark subclasses, blah, blah. Probably, this would probably be in Destiny 3, though, when we're looking at this. Destiny 3 is never what, coming what, out. Way, mm, <laughs> they've, they've confirmed that they will not be making a third game, that they're just going to be continuing D2 and that's working it. with the whole content vault thing. Yeah, Bungie they do made have a another about side that. project, though. They said that they were they were working, uh, which they didn't oh, disclose. God. But I saw a um, or read an interview where um, they were talking to um, one of the head developers, and that they are working on, you know, they said various side projects. I heard they're working on a hero like, shooter at the moment. That's what I've heard from data miners. And leakers well, and shit. either way, like when the extra expansions come out, we might have to choose a side, and that's when they'll be forcing you to make more than one character. All I know, and if that's the case, they better give us more character slots because I would want one dark hunter, one light hunter, one dark titan, one light hunter. And they need to get over the fact that, that they players. don't want us playing multiple of the same class. Like me, you guys yeah. know me. I won't touch a warlock or titan. I don't like the fucking movement. Let me grind three hunters. Yeah. yeah, well, you used to be able to. Remember in yeah, D1? Yeah, D1, have, you, you know, used to be able to. And then Taken King came out, and they said, hey, fuck that shit. You're not allowed to do that no more. Yeah, it was kind of bullshit. Fucking, um, I don't know. Bungie's all over the place, but I can tell you my prediction right now is when the next DLC comes out, absolutely nothing important is going to happen. We're going to kill... Savathun, right? Savathun's going to come back in the last season of this DLC, right? Savathun's going to come out in the last D uh, the last season or the season before because we got, what, one, two, three, four seasons this year all together? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so the last two seasons or so, probably Savathun's going to come back into play. The Darkness ships are going to come back into play, right? We're going to go kill fucking Savathun in the raid in uh, Witch Queen because it's the only thing that strike. makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, watch. We're just gonna kill Savathun. Now, if they fucking make Savathun a strike boss, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, but they... not being funny. I, it might be because, like, with the thing with Aramis, she was a main enemy, and that was a, a campaign mission. The same thing with Gal, main enemy. You literally, he was a fucking god by the end of it. Yeah, so but that look was a at campaign mission. Look at Taking King. Okay, Taking King. Was the okay? So he was the campaign boss, and then he became overpowered with taken energy and became the raid boss. Er, 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 Savathun is on the same dome, right. Savathun oh, on the is same, on the same yeah, guess, exact right. path. So more than likely, we're going to be invading her dreadnought, going in, fucking doing the exact same thing as Oryx, essentially, but it'll be a different raid, probably. I don't think Savathun will have a dreadnought. Yeah, she has a dreadnought. dreadnought. It's been mentioned by uh, Eris. Has it? Yeah. Uh, um, it's been... thought, they um, all have the dreadnoughts. One was a was a worm god that they killed. I remember the name of it. Oh yeah, and took That's over and turned it into a ship. Yeah, yeah, everybody's got their own big ass hive ship. Well, just, I'm calling it a dreadnought, but big ass hive hive ship. But um, yeah, essentially, probably. I think. Witch Queen will play out similar to Taken King, but I don't think we're going to see anything huge as far as choosing sides go until the uh, the DLC after that, Lightfall. Because uh, if you look at the picture, it's all light and then the darkness pyramid in the background. I think that is when we're going to truly see whether or not our choices mattered. Uh, I think that's when shit's going to hit the fan. There's going to be a new collapse we're gonna be in a whole nother fucking dark age. That's what I think. Destroyed. Right, I, I think that's I, I, when I shit's honestly, gonna get real. 
I honestly think that probably what we can expect from the seasons this year is going to be additional dark subclasses. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, and then maybe after we get, you know, the third one or whatever, how many there's going to be, that's probably what's going to trigger what you're talking about. You know, mm -hmm. once we get, once we complete all of our dark subclasses, and then, you know, then there's the, the collapse or whatever. See, now you've it. brought that up, right? This is one thing that has been a bit of a bugbear. Stasis as a general ult. Like, white ice. Like, of all the things, that's darkness. Just the magic well, rope. Like, you've okay. got, like, taking energy and stuff like that. Yeah. Right? I get and it. You, right. And then we get ice. Like, why not poison? Why not well, lifestyle? They think why there's not... going to be a corruption next. To, to for your point i think ice is just the first one but then the next one is going to be you know like the corruption that you see like with thorn that's true example, yeah and, because and uh, things like that like it, well, it doesn't make sense why we have well think ice. about it think ice about is it like just another element think about it though we have solar arc and void three different yeah, so subclasses but in the light. right but in the very beginning of d1 before we had our third subclass all we had was solar and arc and void Right, or, that, yeah. and, and then we got Void with Taken King. So it would make sense that we're going to get another archetype right after Ice. So we got Ice and then, like you said, probably some kind of corruption. And uh, maybe even, fuck, maybe even when Witch Queen comes out, we'll have Taken subclasses. That would be awesome. Oh, right? that would be able to take control of enemies and stuff like that. Yeah, like, that's the only thing I can think of because Darkness is, uh, it's cold. So that's why Ice makes sense. Um, no, in my opinion, it's yeah. about control, right? <laughs> right, it's about yeah, exactly control. Like you free somebody, you have control of them, um, essentially. Maybe yeah, they could have mind power as one of those. Then, wouldn't they? Yeah, they, I mean, that, that would literally be the concept. Other of taking. abilities or something. I mean, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know but how to they'll me, play ice, it out. I just think it's a bit, yeah. That's such such a big thing to do with it, like especially as a first darkness power as well. I think ice makes sense for the simple fact that we discovered the ice power on Europa. On oh, Europa, yeah, it's so it's cold. And it's cold. Cliche. It's, it's a but, cliche. Yeah. That's right, but that's where the that's where the ziggurat was, or whatever the fuck it's called. I have a feeling that we're gonna end up finding another ziggurat, or I'm gonna call it a cigarette because that's what it fucking sounds like. Um, <laughs> But the cigarette, I have a feeling we're going to find another planet, whatever planet happens to come out next. And uh, well, we might be taking the other planet. Well, back. no, I one. tell you what's going to mm -hmm. happen is the darkness that's corrupted the other planets has disappeared. We'll probably get one back and then it's going to be infected, you know, or corrupted. Yeah. And that's going to become absorb where, where, yeah, right. Exactly. We're going to have to go and absorb whatever. Yeah. It's the same like thing the with the, could be like the taken. Same thing that happened in uh, Taken King in D1, the Taken War, where uh, the witches uh, literally covered Earth in blights, and you had to fucking go and cleanse the Earth of the uh, the dark Taken power. And that could be yeah, but... something that actually happens. We'll have to go on those planets and cleanse them. Yeah, it's funny, about isn't Wither it? Horde it's really... is that element, right? I mean, yeah. it's blight. Yeah, true. It's a Taken blight, yeah. Yeah. It's funny, so isn't can, it? Yeah, how, like, we're trying to fight this enemy that has infected these planets. And yet the Traveler, when you look at Io, is literally leaking its light energy. It's kind of... Yeah. It's kind of just for that. It's kind of like, they're not too different, are they? No, they're not. And that's why you hear them say the, oh, very thin line. Um, between light and dark. Between light and dark. They're not so different after all. That's what the Drifter's been trying to mention for... Ever. And that's why I regret choosing the Vanguard, because now that we're here on Europa, and you actually see the shit between dark and light, it's like, wow, the Drifter actually had a point. He yeah. wasn't wrong. He's, 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 not, yeah, he's not a dickhead like we thought well, he was. He hey, he's still a dickhead, hey, he but, <laughs> but he wasn't as big of a dickhead as we thought he was. He's yeah. not fucking lying out his ass. He had a point. He was smart. He's the been there. The ghost doesn't matter. <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> the ghost doesn't matter. I like that you can replay that min uh, that mission. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, we'll see what the the future holds. I mean, I have high hopes for the campaign going on. I mean, even as a PvP player, I still care about the story. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I I'm do. not disappointed in the season at all, and I'm, I'm hmm. you know, the story has to go somewhere. And I guess if we could predict it, or if it went exactly like everybody wanted it to go, it would probably be boring. I'm just you know? pretty so, pissed. Oh, they've off. done brilliant. Like this season has been brilliant. It's been good fun. So I'm still learning stuff to do today. So crow irritated. It's got, it's got my vote. Crow irritated the fuck out of me until I realized how big of a fucking hypocrite I was after learning that fucking Clovis Bray was Banshee. And I love Banshee. Oh. Um, yeah. And so if Banshee can change, then Crow can change. And I guess I'll give Crow a chance, but we'll see. I but, still. But Banshee didn't really change, in my opinion. He was reset. To a point where 44 times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he well, changed. He, he forgot who he was. I mean, the crow was the crow has forgot who he was. Right, exactly. Yeah, He's reborn. When that's you when you get resurrected by a ghost, you have no knowledge of anything from the life before. Um, who knows what we were? Before, Anna, you know what I mean? And uh, the stranger, but you know, right. <laughs> even the guardians. We could have been villains, right? Yeah, you have no idea. We could still could be villains. You never know. I mean, I'm an EXO, so, you know, it's like... What was yeah, that, that's what right? makes me... That's I'm what awoken. I find is really funny as well. In I have the, no fucking in, family like, left. His army <laughs> destroying people. Uh, EXOs are made from darkness, aren't they? And I always make it laugh at like, the fact that they go so, oh, yeah, well, they're made by darkness, but I'll bring them back because they're good people. Like, <laughs> yeah. what, is the, what side is the light on them? That's one thing I thought was quite contradictory. Like, we were full yeah. of rage, anger, and whatnot, but then... Something happened. We then became, I don't know, sentient. My favorite. Um, but we get brought back by the light, even my, though we're dark. My favorite thing about Beyond Light's campaign is when Ghost is like, I don't trust the darkness. I don't trust the darkness. But then you go into a public event and he's like, how about we show those fallen what the new darkness abilities are made of? Yeah. <laughs> Just... <laughs> At the end, though, he does come to it. He's like, I'm sorry, because he apologizes. Yeah, like, and he's like, I'm, I'm with you till the end. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just worried. Blah, but I think... Yeah. So here's... I have a feeling that our ghost is going to betray us. Because in reality, he is a tool of the Traveler. So... Well, that if, might be the decision that you might have to lose the ghost. <sighs> That uh, could be interesting. Yeah, you'll probably like, have right, a different method of coming back to life. You then have a shard. <laughs> uh, right, Nolan North, pyramid. Nolan North, prepare to lose your job in two years. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I chose the dark. <laughs> but that, you, that's the thing. Yeah, it could could be the case. It I don't. Could be like, yeah. oh, no. Here's my question. So, like, if we do have to make a choice, right, between light and dark. What if we choose like light and you lose the dark subclasses? Oh, it's gonna see. suck. But that's I, why I, they're pretty. I, I'm choosing to light. Two characters. I'm gonna have to choose light because tether is insane. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. That's that would be a very like hard to say, especially if they won't let you make another subclass and make the other exactly. Choice. Exactly. Ah, oh, man. What I want them to do is let us have another fucking class. Let us play another class, like uh, w- another race and class. Like, what if we got to play as a fucking fallen? I mean, there are good guy. <laughs> no, listen. There's good guy fallens. There is. We got. I'm not gonna say Varix is necessarily a good guy because I want to rip his fucking arms off. But we had uh, that one guy that you use in the zero hour mission. The fallen you captain use him again in um in this one as well in this campaign. Really, I didn't see him. Yeah, he's, I think you see him in a lost sector as an agent or something like that. Oh, maybe. Yeah, he's an agent of spider. Um, I want to shoot spider in his fucking mouth, man. I hate spider. Um, he's just a dirty, dirty person. Um, I don't like Varix. Yeah. I don't like Varix either. Nobody I don't like Varix. making friends with any of the aliens. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's maybe not... Zeno, Zeno. I'm pretty sure that's the American mentality, though, isn't it? You don't like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't like making uh, friends. Full stop. He went yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Listen, I love everybody, unless your name is Varix, and then I fucking hate you. But, um, 
Oh yeah, <laughs> Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Some random Asian guy from Hong Kong fucking comes up and his name is Varrick's and well Sorry boys. <laughs> Asian, Mexican, yeah. European. We like <laughs> aliens I, around here. I think maybe that you know, just Earth is finding that they're going to have to have allies wherever they can get them. You know? yeah, that was a picture of Zavala, wasn't he? Hanging around with Cabal. Well, yeah, that's interesting. What the fuck? Ah, so fucking Zavala's up there hanging out with Callus's fucking good old fucking man pouch yeah. thing that what he's got going on, dude. We can't use the dark, but he can, he can befriend the Cabal. Right. <laughs> you know? So you want us to go to Mars remember. and shoot all these turtles in the mouth? Okay, we'll shoot your friends there, Zavala. We'll fucking tie up your loose ends. So I just remember, they killed the speaker. <laughs> the oh, speaker fuck, dude. And now we're befriending them. It's like, okay. But I suppose the... Uh, We've been friends with Callus for a long time. Yeah, Callus invited us to test our strength and shit. He wasn't a, he wasn't ever a bad guy. Uh, he was just there for a good time. He was intrigued by it. Right. Yeah, he was intrigued. It's like, wow. Well, if you, you think can... about it, it's, <laughs> so was Varix, right? I mean, Varix was just there, putting us through some fucked up, you know. <laughs> game. Uh, person of Elders. Yeah, prison like, of game. Elders. Yeah. Dismantle minds. They're just toying yes. with us. All the aliens are just toying with us, keeping us distracted while they take over the galaxy. <laughs> go, go, go. The fucking elixir will rise <laughs> again. <laughs> we'll be fighting uh, uh, Aramis and the uh, Prisoner of Elders next week. Just you watch. <laughs> Man, I yeah. wish they'd bring back Prisoner of Elders, but with a different host, because if I have to fucking hear Dismantle Minds and it. Yeah. Afterwards, I I'm like fucking uninstall the game. When the rewards were good, see that's an, another thing that kind of bugs me is if you have like, drops. content. Well, we have we have content in this game that nobody does because the rewards are trash. Yep. You know, I mean, there's there's a lot of things to do. The uh, what's the one on Dreaming City? Um, oh, Blind Well. The Blind Well. Yeah. When's the last time you did one of those? Uh, me um, personally. <laughs> ages but i still see yeah. people doing it all the time i what, was in there what? three weeks ago getting legendary engrams to boost my <laughs> yeah i guess it is well, probably I mean, decent just, farm. you can farm those you know but there's no reason to do that one thing specifically I mean, uh, well, there was that lost engrams sector but then they patched it so i went to the blinding world and did the exact same thing yeah, yeah. But, you know, they ought to make things like that more rewarding if, you know, they want people to do them. It's the same thing with Cosmodrome. Yeah, I see great. people riding around on the Cosmodrome all the time, and I'm just like, why are you What's fucking the point here? Of Cosmodrome? Yeah, what is there to do? Am I missing something? Um, yeah, it's all for the new players, isn't it? Um, I guess. Are just joining the game. That's what it's for. It's yeah, beginners. it is the lower light area, too, because not everything, nothing's strong over like there. It's like the new farm area, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, but fucking, I don't know, dude. Cosmodrome just feels barren. Feels yeah, like nothing in it. I've done the <laughs> Lost Sectors, man. I was like, oh, wow, yeah, that's cool. Um, you got that new strike, <laughs> which is the old strike. Yeah, new strike. Which which they gave us without any explanation. All right, no, like, they, they're the people right. that have been in it. Let's, uh, let's, let's, kind let's, of. let's bring back Omnicle's area strike and then just make basically Omnicle, but let's have her teleport every four seconds. Yeah. And that's, change that's, the final room up a little bit. Barely, dude. Yeah. Barely change that room up, man. It's still pretty much the exact same. Um, that strike just felt like a kick in the nuts to me. Like, you could have came up with something original. Um, supposedly, we're supposed to get the Fallen Saber strike back. I had that. Um, which we already killed the Fallen Saber, so if they changed Omnigal, probably we're just going to be fighting another big-ass shank. But there is nothing more fucking terrifying than seeing a giant taser shank try to run you down. 
Killing. That was the hard destroying. Fuck yeah, it yeah. was, well, especially it's on just... fucking arc burn on heroic. Oh, it's impossible. Yeah. People would just quit if it was arc burn that week. Oh yeah, <laughs> people were not doing quit. nightfall, dude. Fuck that. Um, God, dude, that was terrible. Arc burn was the worst. Except for Zalo's supercell, dude. He just melt motherfuckers with it, though. Um, I remember that strike like the back of my hand, dude. You had to fucking get those orbs up, and there's those exploding shanks that would fucking come out of nowhere. Uh, uh, it was a good strike. With Solar Shield. I'm pretty sure they had Solar Shield as well, just to ruin our day. I hope that whenever the fuck Taken King gets unvaulted and we possibly get the Dreadnought back, I hope to God they bring back the Sunless Cell strike and it's not too different. Because the Sunless Cell, that was all cool. And it was pitch fucking black. And it was terrifying. Yeah. And I loved yeah, it. That it is my good, favorite a, strike yeah, good, to this day. Good strike. Very good strike. Uh, that's the only strike that I could play over and over again consistently. Uh, it took me fucking 90 years to get that stupid exclusive Titan helmet from there. Um, I, think I like the original like Omnigol uh, <laughs> farming for the... Um, oh, uh, Malak? Shit, what was the pulp? Yeah, Grasp of Malak. Yeah, Grasp of Malak, dude. I'm sad there's no exclusive loot in the new Omnigol Striker, whatever the fuck her name is, I don't remember. Um, there's no exclusive loot. Like, you could have at yeah. least gave us, like, a pulse rifle. You know, like, yeah. a little memento to fucking grasp a malak, but no. They hardly gave us any new loot. The only thing they did was bring back old loot, essentially, and then they gave us two new armor Get sets. It. Three new armor sets, counting the raid. Yeah. So yeah it's it, very it, light. Yeah. I mean, there's less content in the game right now, I feel like, than there was last season. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because half the game just got fucking eaten by the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's where 90% of the bugs are coming. Because I called that shit last season. Uh, season. I was like, they're going to remove all this content. And the game is going to go to shit for like three months. And then they'll get their shit together. Um, I knew removing all that content was going to cause a shitload of bugs. And I was hoping to god it wasn't going to be pvp related but most of them have been pvp related um and bungie what the fuck is wrong with you people how are you going to remove 90 percent of the good fucking maps in crucible and not give us a single damn map in return it's again it's because we're at the bottom of the pile right we're at the bottom of the food we don't chain. care about us pvp players it's a sad time all right how are you going to make patrols farmable but not give us one Europa map that has weather effects? Yeah. Like, fuck, dude. I don't know. I miss... Okay, so now that we have... Uh, oh, and there goes Tide. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Drag him back in. We lost Tide. There's Tide. All right. Um. <laughs> uh... I'm really hoping, since they brought back Cosmodrome, that we get that one Destiny 1 map that had, like, the bridge with the two train cars on either side. Um, the, the bridge, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. and then it was, like, a river underneath the bridge and the two big old factory buildings on either side. That was my favorite fucking map in D1, and I want them to bring it back. I love that map. And if they bring back Cosm they brought back Cosmodrome, it only makes sense that we get the Cosmodrome uh, Crucible maps back. Yeah, that that would yeah. be cool. See, yeah. I can't really say much about um, PvP in D1 because I was, well, Scott would know, I was a huge raider. I would be raiding. If I wasn't raiding, I wouldn't be playing the game. Oh, shit, I was a sure. teenager when that shit came out. No job, nothing, dude. Yeah. I was raiding and I was fucking PvP, mostly PvP in raids. I would do a shitload of Taken King raids all the time. Um, I used to be hammered 90% of the time and I would just be raiding until... 4 a.m. into the morning, yep. so, dude, and then get fucking... up for work, and then just do it all again the same. Smack the yeah, good old good freaking uh, ether real quick, and then uh, <laughs> go play some PvP all night. That was back when I first met Philly. Him and I would get fucking completely destroyed. Fucking go and play PvP and just dominate people. Yeah, we d I we didn't play PvP back then. Well, not much anyway. We were huge raiders back then. 
if Philly ever listens to this podcast, he's going to hate the story I'm about to tell about him. But um, you guys have probably heard this already. But Philly is the only man in the entire world that I know that could possibly get a Dorito stuck in his eye. Um, <laughs> this man, we are mid fucking damage phase of Oryx in the raid. And this man just stops and starts screaming. This man had a Dorito crumb in his eyeball. God, that's grim. Dude, we had to wipe. <laughs> we had to wipe. It was bad. It was everything just went south real fast. And then finally, he's like, "Bro, I had a fucking Dorito stuck in my eye. My bad, guys." And we're all just like, "What?" That's the least likely thing. He did, too, because, like, the entire time, all you hear is this bag of chips, like, for fucking 15 minutes solid. This fucking bag of chips just... <laughs> it's yeah. fucking... He's munching. He'll cry. Fuck, yeah, he <laughs> See, will. our worry back then was uh, was just people disappearing one by one because they're falling asleep whilst on the headset. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I've definitely fallen asleep during a raid before. I think we all have. Yeah. You remember Ed, don't you, Scott? Every day he would oh, yes, yeah. fall asleep and all you could hear him snoring down. I knew a guy named Ed in D1 that would snore, dude. Ed was he's from, the... uh, well, he's in New Zealand now, I think. Yeah, uh, he this guy, UK with me. did he have an accent? Because this guy didn't. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah he was he from the like UK. Yeah. Like, he was from Birmingham in the UK. Yeah, this guy was, I'm pretty sure, was American because he didn't have a UK accent at all. And I've heard the different UK accents. I know there's like four or five of them in there. As far as yeah. accents yeah. go. Yeah, it's probably about 15 to be fair. Oh, really? I've only heard about four or five of them, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, they I probably think... don't sound too much different to you, though, because you don't live there, but yeah, there's about 15. Oh, know, some of them accents. are pretty noticeable, like, yeah, for the most part. Um... Nah, but what I'm saying, like, for an example, like, here, where I live in Peterborough, it's, this is our accent, and then just, like, literally 10 minutes down the road, you have a place called Ketrin, and they they literally just do not pronounce their T's. So they're like, Ketrin, in it. <laughs> but, it's like... Kind of speech, so it's a whole different accent now. It's like here and in that's America, 10 minutes down the, the road. fucking <laughs> north and the south, like, if you go to Boston, ever we gotta get to the car! The yeah. fucking car's over there in the pack! Cars. <laughs> then you go down south and everybody talks in real southern accents like scott's southern accent you wouldn't even know he's southern like you don't have like a super southern accent scott yeah, but his wife but, yeah my wife she sounds like straight yeah off the farm. yeah yeah your wife does she's sound straight pretty up southern. sounds like she's from alabama right <laughs> sweet home alabama there's different southern accents too. Yeah, I mean, there's like quite people a few. in like the Carolinas sound different. Than uh, fucking Louisiana. Yeah. Oh yeah, Louisiana's. It's <laughs> straying, yeah. straying yeah. away from destiny here. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. It was somehow fair. we got on freaking accents. I don't know how we got there, <laughs> but. <laughs> but. Yeah, since obviously we're PvP players, we've not really spoken much about PvP to be fair. Um, weapons in the PvP at the moment. Fuck, Fellwetters um, lie. All right, yeah, I'm done. But they're pretty well balanced, in my opinion, at the moment. Like all around, I mean, fair enough. You do have a few metas, and well, I would. But that's the thing. There's a few metas. There's not one meta. Right. I it's kinda, not just I'm not a rifle. It. No. <laughs> I do have. You know, you, I do have one thing I obviously... want to mention about PvP. Have you guys yep. randomly one tapped people? Not charged with light or anything like that, but just hit charged somebody with light and they die. Bow, but yeah. No, so I had yeah. this was happening a lot last night uh, after you got off Scott, but me and Viper uh, were randomly getting one tapped, and then we were also randomly one tapping people. We weren't running any charge of light mods or anything. I hit a guy one time in the face with Skyburner's oath, and he died. And then the same it thing could happened be that with same. Like I don't know, man. The I'm next... pretty sure I've been one tapped. A few times than I sh that I shouldn't have been right, but it I've never it's never happened to where I've done that to somebody. I've either. seen it multiple times where I've just randomly one tap people and I'm like, oh, well, fucking cool, dude. <laughs> now I don't have to waste four bullets. Um, no, yesterday night Viper got one tapped from at least forty meters, dude. Um, with a bastion, 
The guy missed wow, the the guy that missed the first two okay. shots. The guy missed the first two shots and hit the third one from forty fucking meters away. And I was dead. Like I had just died, so I, I was <laughs> spectating him. And he got hit by a single bullet from that bastion and it killed him immediately. He yeah, was full health got, and everything. I got killed with a crimson and uh, you know, it's supposed to sound like a pulse and I just right. heard one shot. Yeah. And he killed me. I saw you that. Know. I saw you get killed. Up, yeah. That guy hit yeah. you with a single bullet, dude, and you died. Yeah. Like, the second yeah. it hit you, you died. Like, I've seen this random one-tap headshots everywhere. And I don't... I I hope to God it gets fixed, because it's... It's not too Maybe bad it's right now. Maybe it's the fucking shit uh, that's broken <laughs> right. in PvP right now, you know? It's just one of the many things. Right. It's also one of the I things that it. people aren't talking about, though. Um, yeah, you don't yeah. see it talked about very often. Well, of course not. Like you one tap somebody, you're not gonna talk about it. But uh, yeah, it's not really a huge problem, but it can be annoying. I mean, you yeah. know, it's well, fucking the game shouldn't work like that. You know, I mean, just like with the ghost bullets and everything else. Right. I mean, if they would just work out the bugs and everything work like it should, then you know, I wouldn't be complaining. But it's just, yeah, it's everything added together. It's like, it's not like it's just one issue we're dealing with in PvP. It's several different things. I'd and like I guess to. That's what I'm frustrated about. I'd like to bring to the table as well for all the bitch baby titans out there. Um, um, Way to uh, <laughs> set your assertiveness there. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. So I've seen recently bitch baby titans complaining about uh, hunter alts uh, as of recently. But uh, let me explain to you why uh, Titans require zero skill and uh, Hunters require all the skill. Well, uh, any Titan ult immediately just fucking pops off. You don't have to wait. Oh, don't even get me started. And uh, Hunter alts take 40 million fucking years to fucking even do anything. Yeah. Golden Gun. Who the fuck has to fucking point their gun all the way in the sky and then be able to shoot? Like you're fucking He-Man. Right. You know, fucking, I have, like a, I have the power. Like fucking... Activating Power Ranger fucking ability. <laughs> right. Yeah. You can yeah. watch the entire cinematic. You have to do like 12 karate happens. moves before you <laughs> fucking activate it. And then my main subclass, Tether, you literally have to wait like three seconds to even be able to launch the Tether, let alone like two more seconds for it to fucking attach to somebody after it's already yeah, hit yeah, the like ground. In a draw time. Right. Giving a super a fucking draw time. Who would have thought? Right. <laughs> yeah. And it's slower than the buddy point Fuck, of even, <laughs> even fucking Blade Barrage takes a couple seconds to launch, dude. Fucking, yeah, it does. Even st- Stasis really annoys the fuck out of me. So here's where Stasis pisses me off with the Hunter. You have to throw two scythes. The first scythe is the freeze. The second scythe is the fucking tornado. People can kill you so fast because you're frozen in the air. You can't fucking move. Once you hit it, you're fucking stuck there for like 15 years. Yeah. Fucking by the time you even finally swing that second one around, somebody's already sniped you. And then this that is, fucking freeze does no issue, damage. Isn't it? This is the issue that hunters have, right? We spend a lot of time in the air. Oh, we yeah, we do. If you're a hunter, you are in the air at some point. Well, you, you do. You sp- I'm pretty yeah, sure you'll yeah. spend Most at least 75% in the air because that's how you get away from the action. Yep. And But then you have, like you say, the tether. It, you have to place it on the ground. Because yeah. if you're firing it in the air, yeah. you're going to go up even further and then that's gonna, it's going to screw you over in the end. Because if you miss it, which you most likely will because it's too Fuck, bloody long. Even when you launch tether, dude, it makes you jump. And it's the same with stasis. It, that is designed to be thrown when you're in the air. Yeah, right. if you throw it in the air, you're screwed because you're out in the open. Hunters are not meant to be out in the open. It's yeah. but you're meant to. But if you throw it when you're on the ground, it just hits the floor. It's the same well, thing you have to, like, with aim it up. It's the same thing with Nova Bomb. I mean, Nova Bomb right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, I had a uh, moment throw it from the ground. I was in a clash match today, uh, the first match of the day. That forty-two kill game I had. Uh, I had a Warlock launch Nova Bomb at me, and I had Ace of Spades on with Momentum Mori active, a uh, little bonus damage. I killed his Nova Bomb before it even got remotely close to me, and he launched it no more than 50 meters away from me. Killed his Nova Slow Bomb. bomb. <laughs> yeah, I killed his Nova bomb, bomb and him before yeah, the Nova yeah. Bomb it blew up. It's ridiculous. It is unfair, and 
Um, well, well, and then when Titans okay. are like, oh, no, 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 it's... We, we get it, right? We have a higher skill base. But the thing is, as, again, this goes to casual players, I, I'm not the best player in the world. Hands down, will never admit that. Yeah, but um, you're also not an average casual, player. I would class myself as an average player. Fuck no, I dude. An average, average <laughs> an average player, okay, has no strategy whatsoever. An average player has maybe a .73 KD. Anybody with a 1.0 and up is not an average player in Destiny because the majority of a player bases in Destiny have a less than 1.0 KD. They do. And it's, yeah, I mean, true. Destiny Tracker will tell you that. Any Destiny stats will tell you that. Uh, the majority of Destiny players have less than a 1.0 KD. So those people that do have 1.0s and up, those are not average players. Those are people that take their time to think about shit before they fucking do it in a match. Like, uh, you, uh, you, you use bow and your bow's not working out. You switch your shit up. You run last word something else. Uh, fucking, you have strategy. You know when to alt, when not to alt. You're not an average player. An average player will just throw his alt out there and fucking hope in one hand and shit in the other. Like, fucking, it's like, in that clash match me and Scott had this morning, I was like, is class always like this? This shit's fucking easy. There was no strategy whatsoever to it. Um, yeah, I, one, one thing, like, going back to the to the supers, I think that a lot of people don't look into also is the fact that Titans, for example, get, like, a massive damage reduction when they're popping their, their super off. Yep. I mean, they're, like, you know, impossible to kill. Yep. With, With Warlocks, we get, like, zero damage reduction. I mean, we're just as squishy activating our super unless we're using a specific exotic. And same way with Hunters. I mean, on my Hunter, it's like... I. I don't feel super when I'm using my super. I feel like, okay, I'm going to hope for the best here. You know, anyway, just Ty, throw it out there. Continue what you were saying. You about. can't just roam the map and and yeah. destroy everything in your path without consequence, you know, as a hunter or as a warlock. Whereas yeah. Titans are everybody runs, you know? Yeah. And, and yeah, then, no. I just, I don't see the balance in that. You know, if, like, for a hunter shooting his tether, you ought to have, like, a second of invincibility or something so you can at least get it off. You know, same way with Nova Bomb. I mean, I think y'all have an opportunity to at least throw it before getting... Yeah. You say that, but everybody runs away from the status uh, Warlock now. Yeah, but all you have to do is just turn and fight. If you don't get frozen, you can drop them just as fast as... It takes two sniper bullets from the body, but it takes three to four sniper bullets to the body to kill a Titan and Behemoth. Right. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, though, it's... Again, they probably moaned about that and was like, oh, we're too squishy. But, um... I'd say it is balanced, but it isn't balanced at the same time. Um, and I think we're all going to just agree to disagree with everything on there because everyone's opinion is different. Everyone's like, oh, no. If you're a really, really good player, Titans are not an issue. If, again, you know, well, I'm a, a non-average but average player like myself, I do find them as an issue because, I don't know, it's just something I just do feel like they are favored in a lot of um, which I guess we can all sit here and agree with. Oh. Well, when the strategy is run at you with a shotgun, and I mean, you can't mm-hmm. say that you haven't died from that. That's more only, than a few times. That's not a strategy. That's not a strategy well, whatsoever. That's just but, fucking. But then you have Hunt is kind of doing the same thing now. Well, yeah, you like, have to to fucking counter this stupid new slide, bro. Motherfucking uh, goddamn Titans just run up slide with the new slide that they have. Slide shotgun, slide shotgun, slide fell winter, yep. slide fell winter, slide fell winter. That's all it fucking is. If you yep. get on a team <laughs> against three fucking Titans running stasis, you already know what fucking gun they got. They got a fucking it's, shotgun. They gave them that ability specifically so they could ape more than they already ate. Man. Exactly. Listen, I will forever say this. I told Jerry on this last night. If you run Titan, you just like your hand being held. People that run Titan are the people that are grown-ass adults that need their fucking hands held crossing the road. All right? It was playing the game on easy users. mode. That's what Titan It are. is. And then you have Warlocks, which they say is medium. On medium now, and then Hunt is hard. But honestly... I'd probably throw that all out the window, and I'd probably say mm-hmm. hunters are now on medium. 
on Wallop. Well, Alex, you, know, you made a Titan, right, it. the other day. And tell, <laughs> yeah. tell them what you did in your first Crucible match on a brand new Titan. Well, it, no, it was a private. It was a private match because um, these guys were saying, well, basically, Hunter's a 2 OP. Look at you, blah, and blah, because... Well, I was just smashing them as a hunter, and then I was saying you kind of got it wrong. Like I do believe that Titans are OP as hell, and then I ended up going on a one v one on Titan. It's the first time I ever played a Titan. It's now why I have a Titan character, and I ended up getting like I think forty kills against two of them. Um, I won the game, blah and blah, basically. And I was just thinking, well, wow. I didn't. I think I died like four times as well to these two guys. I mean, they they were trash. I'm not gonna lie, but. Yeah, they, it is something else. The Titans are something else. And that wasn't even on yeah. status. That was just arc. I, I mean, when I was running around in PvE with Nim, I was just supermanning everywhere just because I could. Oh, yeah. You can get that super so fast as well. And I was just arc titan him left, right, and center. Uh, you can jump in the air and smash down, double kill. You, yeah, all you have to do is just ridiculous. get one shot on each. Just run, jump in, boom. That was it. Yeah. That's all I did to them, and that was pretty much what I did in the entire game. And th there was no skill involved. <laughs> oh, it was laughable, to be honest. Right. But yeah, yeah, I kind of proved my point, and they did walk away and go, "Yeah, well, you know what? Fair play." I play better as a Titan, and that makes me feel sick a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, but I refuse to play in PvP because I just think ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, Titans are always gonna be the bitch babies of Destiny. And uh, Titans will always cry about everything, but uh, and if I'm, I'm gonna get gonna messaged, cry about it's gonna be by a Titan. Oh, hands down, Titans. Heck, nine I got and, banned nine by a Titan the other day because he was <laughs> throwing away lives. He was. I got so mad, and I swore at him. I'm not gonna lie, I, that was my bad. I swore in a message that I left evidence behind. That was very stupid on my behalf. But he annoyed me so much. It was a Titan throwing away lies, saying, "Oh, I threw away lives because." What what was his excuse? Because we were losing or something like that? Yeah, he or wanted he... to get the match. No, that was it. Quickly. Yeah, he wanted to get that match over and done with. And I was like, you're a little bitch. Turns out he was a minor. <laughs> yeah, uh... If you're a minor, you probably shouldn't be fucking playing Destiny. It so, is yeah, rated turns T. Turns out he was a minor, he for... was a child, and I ended up getting banned for, uh, I think it was 48 hours, but I got it uplifted because I contacted uh, Microsoft. Went a little bit do lally down the head to them. Um, yeah, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> they could understand why I was raging, I suppose. But uh, I joined. But you that, know what? He that... would walk away from no repercussions for throwing away lives, throwing away a game. Even though I did again, did an amazing thing where I pulled back two rounds on my own. Pretty much, wasn't it, Scott? Like, yeah, I think it was a like two lives. We could have won that match. I mean, we really could have. We could have done. Right. done uh, but he threw it away because we won. We won a round without him. Even yeah. though he was sitting there just killing himself, we went on to win uh, that round. All he had uh, to do was I... just probably just be, be a distraction. If you didn't want to play, just be a distraction. Just well, don't, don't want to play. Don't if join. anyone is listening to this, if you don't want to play, fair enough. But if you need to do it for something and you right. have to play, jump in. But be a distraction. Like you don't have to kill. Like just don't throw away lives. Like fair enough. Don't go running in like a madman. But they were Peek around pull the trigger. walls and, you know, just... That's all you have to do. Just tease him. Just teabag the him behind direction. the walls. Just grab the distraction. Yeah. Just be a distraction for the other players. Oh, I'm going to say... Stay with your team. Just don't be a toxic little motherfucking asshole. Like all I'm going to say is if you're not going to take survival seriously enough, because that's ranked. Some of us take that shit die hard. You know what I mean? Like our team. <laughs> we hate losing. We don't like losing. We fucking hate playing with blueberries because half you blueberries suck ass. But um, you know, some people try hard in that shit. And to have somebody throw away your lives, go play Clash, bro. Yeah. If you're not going to take your competitive rank seriously, don't play Survival. Oh, but I like that game mode. Well, if you're trash at the fucking game and you want to throw games, take your ass onto a game mode where you're not ranked. Take your yeah, ass on over saying. to fucking Clash or fucking Control. It really did beat me that day and honestly i was thinking i'm gonna take a break for a while because i was just so mad I, when i get mad believe it or not i get nosebleeds i don't know why oh, i don't I even have high blood pressure i just do so when i get a nosebleed i know that it's time for me to put my controller down and chill out 
go do some PVE stuff, you know, go and, go and have a tequila. You know, I honestly wonder why why people are even playing survival right now right. than the die hard people because there's no pinnacle rewards anymore for it. You know, it's not like you're trying to get your not forgotten or your Luna. Uh, there's there's really nothing other than the title. And in order, if you're that, if that's all you're grinding for, then you should be a serious enough player to know what the deal is. Not to quit, you know, not to hinder right. your team and, 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 and take it for real. Right. I, I really don't get the people that are like casual survival players. There just shouldn't be any. Right. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Um, so obviously, we're really struggling this season anyway it's been a bit of a pain but overall like i was saying earlier i'm glad that there is no meta like kinetic weapon well, primary weapon let's say so obviously last season was the gnawing hunger you can enter the crucible without a gnawing hunger if you did enter the crucible without a gnawing hunger you was a madman false promises yeah. is really disgusting right now i will say that it is disgusting, but... But it's balanced. I can outdo it. It's yeah, balanced. It's balanced. I can outdo it. The only but it's gun... like, this is what I think that needs to happen now. They've got the kinetic balance. They need to leave it. That's it. End of, right? right? It's Leave it as it is. You don't need to tweak anything now. Just done. What they need to look at is the specials now. It's ti- time for them to start balancing out. Yeah. It's time to even maybe... Primary weapons I use are Winters every fine. now and again. Um... But the, in that needs sorting out. Fell Winters needs sorting out. Bastion needs sorting out. I'm sorry, Scott, but Telesto kind of needs sorting out. I think it needs to be tweaked on its range. I'm not gonna lie. Um, well, here's the thing with the range on Telesto, and it's it's tough to use. It's not like you can always map people. You really yeah, you have can. to. Like when I shoot, I have to move my controller a bit as I shoot. Mm. I don't just hold it in one spot and pull the trigger. I move it so that I can aim where each one of those bolts are going yep. to try to get that full on body shot so, yeah, so I, should... and I, I appreciate that but at the same time it's the fact that well, it is I mean, possible a good to map with someone Telesto with a fusion is... rifle yeah I mean, it shouldn't true. be allowed in my opinion yeah but Telesto the thing with mapping people with Telesto is it's actually hard to map somebody with Telesto because first of all if you even miss three of your bolts you don't get they the kill live. yeah they live and how can I forget the fucking Jotun the huh. fucking goddamn yeah, Jotun. Jotun is like all the bullets <laughs> into one, and it tracks. Yeah, know, and it yeah. tracks you. You literally map people with Jotun. It is, it is the right. truth, in my opinion. It is the truth every goddamn time. If I mean, fair is... enough. If you can watch, you can dodge it. But the thing is, it's like, you shouldn't have to dodge a fucking fusion rifle. <laughs> fusion rifles no. are definitely strong right now, but I'd say Telesto is in a good spot Jotun needs his tracking a little checked, but uh, overall, it's yeah, it's just doable move. to dodge. Right. It's, you can dodge but it's it. Like if you've got three players on the opposite team running Jotun, I'm not gonna lie, it's nasty. It's not fun. It's you spend yeah. more time dodging than you actually right. do trying to kill. And because it's even now got like some sort of fucking splash damage, I don't know whether that's an error, but it does have it, splash it, damage. It leaves it, the it fire is, on the again, on the ground. Yeah, He's looking. It's supposed to have splash damage, but um, the the, the only fusion but it rifles. Shouldn't. I mean, it literally explodes. Yeah, no, but it shouldn't have splash. Like mountain. Skyburner's I mean, oath it, has splash damage. But yeah. it's a, but it's a kind of a different design, and the splash damage is nowhere near as bad as is the Jotun. That's like, true. If you're if you're on like three quarter health. And Dead. then a Jotun fires, you was able to dodge it, but the splash damage gets like yeah. no. It yeah. shouldn't be like that. It uh, should have a little. But if you had a Skyburner Zoth and I had three quarters health, I know that you're gonna you're hitting me around the corner with it, and I can move out of the way of that. Um uh, the only fusion rifles that I feel are too strong right now. Obviously Bastion's very annoying. The only thing wrong with that is the range. Its damage range is insane. Um but the only fusion rifle that I feel like absolutely needs fucking nerfed is Aaron Till. You can quite yeah. literally mm. map people with I, Aaron we Till. I don't really see it as much for me. Oh, dude, fuck. Problem, I do. I run I into it all the time. Need, and, mm, I wouldn't even say that, really. I, I disagree. 
What? Uh, Having it nerfed? I'm just gonna say I, I disagree. <laughs> it's range. I don't. I is insane. Yeah, its range is insane. And but the only reason, like, I don't use like a fusion for that purpose. I use it right. as an anti shotgun. I mean, yeah. because I don't have fell winners, and I don't have another shotgun that I would feel competes with fell winners. Because if you don't have fell winners, you don't have fell winners. You know right. what I mean? You're not going to win most of your shotgun duels yep. if the other person has it. Yep. So my oh, reason for there using goes fusion Ty. rifle, yeah, there he is. Um, my my reason is to counter those fell winners users. You know, if I can if I can start my shot a little bit earlier and and hit them before they can get to me, that's me surviving. So I'll never feel bad about using you know using something to counter something I feel like is broken. Right. Which yeah. I think the winners is. Well, I think we've pretty much talked about everything that we need to talk about in this episode. We are running pretty long in this episode. Uh, you guys have anything else you want to talk about before we wrap it up? Uh, no, I just, time. yeah, I do appreciate you bringing this onto the channel. Um, yeah, this is cool. Uh, no problem. But yeah, I would love you, to have you, have you guys a, back on. Yeah, I mean, just pop you know, a message. Well, I'll probably be speaking to you again in like 10 minutes time. But, right. Uh, <laughs> I'm but hopping yeah, no, right back to, on after this anyway. So, yeah, um, I'm going to take like a 10 10 minute break yeah, but go um, for it. i would definitely be back but yeah no you're more than welcome to well jump on. Yeah, anyways l- fun. listeners this has been bullshiggity episode four like i said brought to you by yakado the titan that only knows how to shoulder charge and use <laughs> fell winters um big shout out to him <laughs> or her them yeah uh anyway <laughs> we're here with scott and tide and we'll see you guys next week thank you guys for tuning Bye. in See you later. See you.